Modern bariatric surgery has given patients today the ability to lose well over 100 pounds and maintain their weight loss. This is a new era for a lot of these folks, and they have a new challenge, which is to figure out how to make their skin suit fit them a little better. What they really need is a good skin tailor. Well, the ultimate body contouring procedure for these folks is something called a lower body lift with a fleur-de-lis abdominoplasty. And it is quite a marathon of an operation, but if it's done well, patients can get very satisfying results. The basic idea with this operation is that we're going to try to treat the patient's entire torso in one operative procedure. That is to say, there will be a lower body lift, which includes a tummy tuck, where this skin is removed from uh, the lower portion of the abdomen, as well as the skin around the outer hips and the buttocks. Furthermore, because this is a fleur-de-lis abdominoplasty, we are also planning to remove all of this skin in the center portion of the abdomen. Now, by removing this tissue, we do create a vertical scar, but we also are able to wrap the skin around the torso a lot tighter. Uh, and most patients are much happier with this procedure because they feel that their skin suit indeed does fit them a whole lot better. In doing so, of course, with any tummy tuck, the umbilicus, that is the belly button, is transposed and it is raised a few centimeters as well. Now, if you look at this same patient from the side, um, you should be able to appreciate that the hanging skin in the front of the tummy is removed and that the skin here in this area is excised and in fact advanced medially. That is, we take the skin from this area and we advance it. We wrap it around the patient's torso much tighter. I also, in this case, performed a lot of liposuction in this region of the back because I was trying to give her a better waistline and I was truly trying to uh, make her appear much more slender in the post-operative uh, photograph. Now that liposuction is uh, continued around uh, towards the back in both the upper and lower back in the flank region. And uh, the, the design is supposed to improve the contour of the back as well as the buttock. If you look here, the buttock has much nicer projection than it did preoperatively. Um, and in part, that's also due to the fact that we did a lower body lift. Again, the lower body lift is a tummy tuck, an outer thigh lift, and a buttock lift. So all of the skin in this area gets lifted up and the buttock projection is improved. From this angle, you can see that the liposuction in the upper back and the flanks has a tremendous uh, impact on the patient's waistline and her ability to look more slender, as I've mentioned before. Finally, from the back, because of the liposuction, which makes her more slender in this area, as well as the buttock lift portion of the lower body lift, her hips are tremendously reduced. Uh, she is certainly not as wide in the post-operative photo as she was in the pre-op, and overall her skin quality is nicely improved. Now it's important to recognize in this zone, I do not remove fatty tissue from the projection of the buttock, and that is why on the side view she still had a nice shape. I think that this is a rather uh, fine point that I try to teach my residents all the time. And so I hope I've helped you to understand how the fleur-de-lis abdominoplasty contributes to the overall effect of a lower body lift. I don't do this procedure on every patient, of course, but when someone presents to me with a body habitus similar to this patient, and I notice that there is a tremendous amount of laxity in the horizontal as well as the vertical directions, um, I find it to be tremendously powerful in helping to give that patient a shape and making them satisfied with their appearance, appearance, especially in clothing. I'm sure I've left anyone out there who is seriously considering these operations with a whole host of questions, and uh, I promise I will try to answer them if I can. You can contact me through the website, or of course, feel free to come in for a consultation.